Stream our shows. Visit us on our Facebook page, live at Radio East River. Also, visit us on our website, www.radioeastriver.co.za or download the Radio East River app, available and supported on any and all smart devices. Radio East River, the Dung Ruggie. Want to take your business to the next level? Advertise with Radio Easter River by emailing us at admin at radioeasterriver.co.za. Without you, spirit, move me. 
Spirit teach me, Spirit lead me. I wanna know, I wanna know. Yeah, yeah, Moluene Makaya, Singur Radio is River, Sifumanega Kuso Zong social media platforms. Good morning, good morning, our dear listeners, our beloveds, our famous people on the platform TikTok, Facebook, and the radio app um, that they downloaded from the app store Radio Easter River, the best. And the fastest growing radio station on the internet in Cape Town. And so you are so welcome. You are so welcome. And uh, we greet you from a misty Easter River and Cape Town. Yes, it is winter. Someone I saw a uh, I saw a, a, a reel or something. I think it was on TikTok um, where it says, where has autumn gone to why did autumn just disappear uh, there's a disappearing act of autumn we went from <coughs> excuse me straight from summer uh, they put us in the microwave they fried us and then they put us straight into uh, the freezer so yeah there was no o- cooling off period nothing it went from hot and then it went to cold so um yeah this is this is the weather this is the weather in Cape Town you can have four seasons in one day cold in the morning and then the wind comes up here at 11 and then by the afternoon you are frying uh so yeah but uh we are not here to fry any people today but we are yet we are here to speak about a much um unspoken uh uh, topic and I, as you can see, I have Dr. Francois. It's the third uh, Thursday. I have Dr. Francois in the studio with me, and we're going to uh, speak about a topic that is not very, very spoken about, not uh, much preached about. Um, I don't know if people are scared to, to speak about it, but yeah, we're going to touch on the topic, understanding our soul's dimension. Dr. Francois, greet the people, man. Yeah, uh, Dr. Graham, it's wonderful to be here. As you put it, yes, outside is a little bit chilly and so on. It's wonderful. <laughs> I'm driving here from uh, or, or to, 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 to the uh, studio 
uh, this morning, and the midst is in the fields and so on. There's a mysterious sort of uh, feeling outside there with the mist and so on. And now we are our subject is also, uh, I, for some people, I suppose, very mysterious, and that is the soul. What is the soul in Tile of? What is soul? Uh, but this is that almost sealed there. En uh, ek wonder altyd as mense praat oor die siel of hulle verstaan wat hulle praat. That's it, that's and it. as you put it, you know, I wonder if people really understand the soul. And therefore, I'm looking forward to our discussion yes, this morning. Yes, yes, definitely. Uh, all our guests and so on from all over the world, you so welcome. And let's talk uh, about a wonderful aspect or to be a human, and that is the part of our soul. What is the soul entail of? And uh, I hope that you will find our discussion informative today and that we will be enriched in terms of the subject and that we've got a better understanding of what we say when we mention the word soul. Great stuff, Dr. Francois. Thank you for that insightful um, uh, introduction and greeting and so we are going to go to a music break and then we're going to dive uh, not into the shallow waters here by where, 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 the, where the billows just uh, uh, fizzles out on the sea but we are going to dive into the deep waters this morning with understanding our soul's dimension. Last week I spoke about um, uh, the understanding of uh, body, body, spirit, and sound, and this morning we actually completing that entire segment because we are three dimensional in body, spirit, and soul. That is how God created us. So we're going to complete this segment of 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 this two part series um, where we understand who we are, what we are about. Uh, in body, in spirit, and in soul, which is very important. But we will go on to a music break, and what better way to start off this program with a uh, uh, well-known song, a hymn that we sang so... so much we, 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 we tend to, this is, this is actually a, a, an anthem at funerals mm. where we are confronted. And, and, and this is the thing that we, where we're going to address, what we're going to address today, Dr. Francois. The question is, it is well with my soul. That is the author. Oh, that that's say, a wonderful that, song. That, 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 that says that. It is well with my soul. But now um, I'm going to, to, to just turn around two, two words, two, two letter words uh, uh, in that whole uh, uh, theme of the, of the song to put it in a question. Is it well with, with you. your soul? soul? The author said, it is well with my soul. And we can, we can talk about why he wrote that. Uh, but the question today is, is it well with your soul? Let's take it away. Austin Stone Worship will sing to us, is, it is well with, our soul, with my soul. Tune in to the leading internet radio station in the Mother City, Radio Easter River. For more information, log on to our website, which is www.radioesterriver.co.za. My soul. 
Onze talent, onze mensen. WhatsApp ons bij 064 536 9095. Talk to us, die dan ruk hier. Yes, we are back with, uh, with a bang. And as we started our program, it is well with oh, our so. soul. And sometimes I wonder, Dr. Francois, if people understand what they are singing when they, when they say, it is well with my soul. Do people really know where is my soul? What is my soul? How is the soul makeup? Where does the soul come from? Now, uh, publicly there is, and in the Old and in the New Testament, there are a vast array of scriptures that speaks about uh, speaks about the soul, but can uh, as we as we venture into this conversation, can we understand what is the general understanding of the human soul? How do we? How do we? Uh, I would nearly wanted to say, how do we fathom? How do we grasp this no, phenomena of the soul's dimension? How do we look at 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 the soul? Oh, Dr. Graham, I'm so glad uh, for the question and uh, for the opportunity, you know, in the next uh, few minutes that we can talk about it. And as you sit there on the couch, in your own uh, self-talk, uh, because 80% of the time you're in a conversation with yourself, each individu individual, each human is in, uh, constantly in a conversation with himself, herself. And therefore, part of that conversation must fizzle out to our subject. And that is, who am I? What am I? Whom am I? Why I am here? What is the reason for my existence? Yes, my purpose. What is my purpose? What, what, what is my goals in life? Mm. What, why... Uh, Am I here for 50 or 60 or 70 years? And what is the opportunities? How must I think? How must I address situations and so on? And then we are busy going deeper and deeper to the essence of our existence. And you can't talk to yourself about your existence without to note and to think about the soul. Now, the problem in my practice, I see a lot of people every day, and when I've got this conversation with students in the Bible school environment, in lecturers and so on, uh, through the years, uh, I, I, I gather that people are using words like love and respect, and then also the word soul and uh, spirit and the flesh and 
And they, they try to understand and grasp this uh, way of talking. And therefore, it's, it's very good that we have this conversation about the soul. What I, uh, Dr. Graham, what I see and saw in conversations with people and so on is that in general terms, they are grappling with this word. It's not so easy. It is a philosophy. Uh, uh, is it a, a, a philosophy? What is it? Philosophy. Yeah, philosophical. Philosophical word. Is that, you know, ask your question to me this morning. How do you grasp it? How, how do you embody the whole understanding of, 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 of soul? And then people think of, of a jail, uh, and the jail, and that's the Greek way of thinking that your body is the jail, and that somewhere in this body, this jail, you will find in the blood or wherever in the body, in the heart or in the kidneys or in the liver, somewhere there in your body, the soul is existing, is lingering like a ghost. Mm. Uh, it's a ghostly thing. It's a mystical thing. Yes. And, uh, and that's why it's so important uh, that we talk about it. Because it's not. It's a very physical thing. It's a thing not about uh, an object and so on. The problem with the soul, you can't see it really, but if you... You use your senses properly, and especially your faith senses, your awareness senses, you can gather the, 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 the soul of the soul. The atmosphere, the climate in a room, you know it as you sit there on the couch. Uh, the atmosphere in a relationship, an atmosphere in the church building, in your working place, in your family structure, the atmosphere in your own heart this very moment, uh, carry something of the soul. What is the essence of your being function? And that is very important that you understand that. It's not so much what you are doing. It's, it's not about your successes. It's, it's not about uh, your religion and, and all, all the attributes that you've got as a human being. Yeah, yeah. But it's about, and then you can, uh, uh, that's what I want to introduce in, the, uh, in our second discussion. Uh, uh, the soul is about soulfulness, seal for light. Uh, to be besilled. In Afrikaans, we're talking about, jy is besilled. Wat betekent dit uh, wanneer jy besield is? Soulfulness. Can you run as a rugby team uh, on the field? If you as a team haven't got the soul, what is the essence mm. our, of our Springbok rugby team uh, at, uh, 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 at this stage? The fact that we are the world champions, why is that? Is it because we run on the field, because we are besilled, you know? We, we are, there's a soul deep, deep in us, the African soul, uh, uh, the spirit. And therefore, every individual, every person that you are encounter yes, is yes. not a woman or a man or a child or a human. <laughs> But I think, in, in, and that brings us uh, m more or less, uh, and we will talk a little bit later on that, what, what is this uh, soul all about? But you, you have to think and turn your head in a direction of the soul is to be connected yes, to something. Yes, yes definitely. It, it's, it's, it's about <coughs> relational, uh, relational issues. Yes, uh, is to be uh, that you know you belong somewhere. Yes. Because all of us tend and want to be loved. We, we, we want to be part of. We want to be part of a team, of a community. 
And that is the pity, Dr. Graham, of our life. We live in a, in a world that is, uh, in some way, they lose their soul. Yeah, yeah. And th therefore, I, I hope really, uh, uh, as we go along with this conversation, that we, we, we understand that soul has to do with connection. There's an interplay with certain various aspects in our life. Yes, yes. And therefore, uh, um, I can conclude and say, in the first place, when I walk in the mall and when I met my husband or my child, it's not my child. Yes, that is true. It's not, it's not my wife. It's not a man. It's, it's not a vagrant uh, on the street. It's not a worker. But it's a fellow soul. Yes. It's yes. a fellow neighbor. And you know, when you look in somebody's eye, a fellow neighbor, a fellow human being, from the perspective that I'm looking in the first place, not in terms of the gender issue or the sexual issue, the but physical. I look in the eyes of a soul. Yes. Then you are slowly but steady, busy understanding there's something deeper mm -hmm. in every person uh, and in life in yes. general. And uh, let's hope uh, in this conversation we can, we can look the soul of people in the eye. Yes, yes. Dr. Francois, thank you for that introduction. And I, I, I just want to latch on to what you just concluded with, as you said, that when we look at someone, we don't look at the physical, because the physical is the, is, is the, the gender identity, if I That's can right. call it that. It is the maturity identity, the child and an adult. And the personality. And the personality as to how the personality is portrayed. But if we look deeper into the soul's perspective, um, um, uh, in the eye, as, as, uh, and, and they, there's, a, there's a slogan and, 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 uh, where they say that the eyes are the windows of the soul. soul. So effectively, I am looking through the windows into the soul of this person that is standing in front of me. Effectively, we are looking at the image of God. When we, when we look at that, according to Genesis 1 verse 26 and 27. And then we also need to understand that there are different nuances that, that's, that's in the Bible as uh, from, from a biblical perspective. Um, with regards to the soul, where Jesus himself in Matthew 10 verse 28 says, uh, do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. soul. So effectively, we, 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 we conclude, or we, we uh, acknowledge that the soul is immortal. The soul is living forever. And also that there is unity between the body and the soul. According to uh, Genesis 2 verse, verse 7, um, where God created Adam and he breathed the breath of life, effectively breathing into Adam this clay, this, this facade, this dust, breathing into Adam the Ruach, the breath of life, the breath of God, the soul of of God, because the Bible also says that every soul will return to the one who sends mm, and it. give it. Yes. Yeah. So, so publicly speaking, this is this is this is what we need to understand, and and I think we 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 should not grapple with this thing, but we need to understand that there is a soul. A There's soul a that, soul that, that and, comes from God. And it's very, very clear. And I think that is our second uh, paragraph, uh, uh, if we listen to music and so on. We will dive into that, to look the soul uh, in the eye. We, I think, uh, Dr. Graham, we can conclude this section. Uh, uh, the, the, the pity is we haven't got in general a deep understanding of the soul. Yes, yes. We think in, uh, the general people are thinking of the soul 
I must care for the soul that this soul don't burn in hell. Yeah, yeah. You know, and uh, preachers and so on stand on the pulpit and uh, and stages and so on and proclaim. And uh, the song that we've just listened is the whole thing of it is well with my soul. And it's well when I know that I can have got a testimony that I'm on my way to heaven uh, and uh, the whole soul discussion is then over. It's well with my soul. You know why? Because I'm on my way to heaven. Yes, yes. But the soul and the conversation about the soul has got implication for life as it is today. And I want to conclude, if I've got the story right, the person that has written the story of the soul was a captain on yes. a ship. And uh, it was a stormy night, and people has become sick on it, and also his wife and two or three daughters, yes. and so on. I can't uh, remember the story properly yeah, if they are on the boat uh, uh, later on, the boat, on yes. uh, you know, when they were in the land and so on. But he... His circumstances, when he has written this note, is they all of them died. The the very uh, dear people to his life has fallen away. Yes, and yes. he he went down to his cabin and he sat there and despair and start picking up his pen and 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 the Lord comes to him. And say, so, uh, whilst he's grappling with the whole uh, question, what now? Is there a reason for living? Is there any meaning in my life? My wife is gone. My beloved children is gone. My yes. daughters is gone. And then he reached the conclusion in this very song. It's okay. It is well with my soul. Therefore, the context of the song that we just had listened to, uh, 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 it, it, it's born in, in the context of misery, yes. in the context of brokenness. Yes. And I want to ask you, as you sit there on the couch, how's it going with your life? What is your circumstances? And therefore, it's a very important uh, uh, conversation about the soul because despite of your circumstances, it is possible to, to fall in the chorus line of this wonderful song that we have just listened to. It is well, it is well with my soul despite of. And you know it, it's not so easy. Yeah. It's not so easy when all the chips is down in your life. Yes, and therefore, yes. let's uh, conclude with, uh, with, uh, with a song. I, I don't know which is the next song, Oh My Soul. Uh, let's look at that soul. Let's cry out with this uh, song, Oh My Soul. Uh, my soul is a very important part of my life. And uh, you there on, on the couch, look at yourself. Look from a new perspective, look inwards, and I hope you will spot your soul. Thank you, Dr. Frantra. Yeah, on that, on that very, very, very note, we're going to listen to this uh, song, Oh My Soul, from Cast Casting Crowns. And, and as you sit there on your couch, as Dr. Frantra just said, uh, do some introspection and, and ask yourself, um, is it well? Is it well with my soul? And oh, my soul, is it well with you? Start talking to yourself. And uh, we will be back after the, uh, after the song. A casting Crown sang for us, oh, my soul. And we will continue with the program. This is Dr. Graham on the couch with Doc. And you are on the couch. I hope you have a lovely warm cup of coffee, tea, uh, hot chocolate, uh, chai tea, chai latte, uh, they're with you so that you can enjoy. Uh, throw the blankie over the knees and, and sit back and enjoy the song. Oh, my soul. <laughs> from 
fearing you lost control This was the one thing you didn't see coming And no one would blame you though If you cried in private If you tried to hide it away So no one knows No one will see If you stop believing So there we have it. Casting Crown sang to us um, as you as we asked the question, "Is it well with your soul?" And then Casting Crown comes and says to us, "Oh my soul, you are not alone." And ending off the first segment of the program, where we where we ask you, no matter what your circumstances is, that you need to acknowledge that you are not alone, Doctor Francois. Our souls are not alone. We need to dig deep and and find out and and really get to that point where we where we know that we can live. Uh, at this point in time, I just want to welcome uh, Michael Domingo. He is back on the airwaves with us and the 
and the regular 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 um uh, with us Letitia Souls is watching she says good morning Dr. G- Dr. G and Francois and uh, yes you can listen now but uh, we will see you tonight in Bible school um just mm-hmm. remember you need to tune in as well tonight uh, but we are back understanding our soul's dimension Dr. Francois what does the soul entails I know that there are there's a lot of semantics around the soul uh, you spoke about soulfulness and then um uh, there there's words and jargons that that is out there with regards to my soul mate and uh, uh, um uh, i have a soul connection um and and all of these words that is that is out there we will later come to the point of soul care uh, as mm-hmm. as as you would give us some nuggets and so on and so forth but all these semantics where does this uh, 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 fit in to and and connect with us understanding the soul yeah i think uh, that's that's then very important uh, dr gray mentioned uh, in the first part of the program the ruach uh, the the breath of of trying god in Genesis uh, 1 and 2 and so on and that we are full of soul our whole body is soul it's not that the, the the soul is part of the body but the soul is transcendent it's more than the body the soul consists of your personality but more than that your characteristics the way that you behave it's about your attitude yes. and then the very important thing the soul consists of networking networking with fellow souls you become soul when you connect with somebody in a certain way and the things that we the soul is struggling with is loneliness and therefore the song concludes in the last a uh, uh, note of that so uh, so the, the the singer is singing about soul listen to me you are not alone yes and yes. that's the problem of the soul that the soul can become alone in terms of hopelessness of abandonment yes and 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 when we deconstruct abandonment what is abandonment all about i'm feeling alone I'm the only one here. Mm. I am the only one feeling like I am feeling here. That is correct, yes. And the the thing of the soul is there's a interconnectedness in the first place with every other soul in your surroundings and also with nature. I've written a piece uh, for for the congregation last week about the soul of a tree. There's some people that perceive a tree if you listen carefully to a tree you will you will hear noises that is coming very deep from the roots uh, in Afrikaans say they, they they talk about the seismographische uh, uh, noises uh, um, that is coming from the roots deep from the earth and going through the branches through the tree and you can hear the gentle wind and and how the winds and and, and the branches are, are are creaking and squeaking and so on yes and therefore yes. you can listen to a tree and if you listen carefully the tree is talking to you mm. there is some people that are saying that trees uh, through hardships through drought and through storms you have to listen to them they make different noises. noises and therefore there's people that's that that gather that from the tree and on a regular basis they hug a tree they hug a tree because they think that the tree has got a soul mm. now i want to use that metaphor if you want to get hold of the the soul you must look at the quality of your relationships all around you yes you, yes your relationship with yourself your relationship with your family members 
your relationship with fellow neighbors, with, with fellow souls, and then especially also your relationship with the transcendent God. That, that one that is bigger than you. That person that you don't really understand. The triune God and yeah. so on. And in this network of, of, of relationship with your circumstances and people and uh, in different spheres of your life, you are heading in a direction to, to get hold of your soul. Yes. The quality of your relationship with the transcendent as well as your neighbor and fellow souls, that brings a notion about soulfulness yes. and meaning yes. and yes. the reason why I'm here and that I'm a feet washer and that I'm there to serve and I've got a particular calling and that that notion that I know what is the reason for my existence, that all these things is, is bringing about your understanding of what soul is all about. Dr. Francois, that is a mouthful. Thank you very much for that. Coming back to the biblical aspect of, of, of the soul. Now, in Hebrew, uh, the word soul is translated into the word nefesh. 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 Yes. And then... The Greek uses another word in the New Testament as psyche. So, uh, um, and, and, and that is why people go to a psyche to read what is in their soul. Yeah, that's fine. That, that's fine. That, that comes from the Greek philosophy um, um, to, 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 to look deep within. People read palms, they look at the lines here on my hand, and then they say, your path is going to go skew, or no, there is uh, a, a three-fork way in, in it, but you need to take the, 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 the straight line, etc., etc. And they try and understand um, the soul from deep within, from the body. And, and, and what, they, what they observe and what I say, try and understand my soul. But in essence, in understanding the soul, you cannot just go on the superficial. No, it is much it's deeper. It is, as you say, it transcends far beyond who I am. And, and, and uh, there is a, a, uh, something that you say, you, the sum total of... Yeah, I think the, the sum total of, of, of your past, of your experiences, the sum total of your personality yes. and your body, uh, you know, if you talk about the soul, it, it oversee that. It, it, it overshadows it. Yeah, it yeah. overshadows. It's more. You are more than your characteristics. Yes. You are more than your body. Uh, a woman and uh, um, uh, a man... Is, is, is more than his genitals that, that say that he's a woman or a man. That is correct. A, a, a person that is standing in front of you, a child, the tree, the, the universe, is more that your senses can bring to you. You have to understand that. And you must make it part and parcel of your own being. I'm more than my successes. I'm more than my looks. I'm more than, than uh, my talents. Uh, I, I has got the ruach. I've got something in, in, in my soul that God has given to me so that I can be a custodian, that I can carry the image of God in a hopeless, in a desolate world. That I'm not sitting on the couch waiting that somebody explain what is happiness in my life. I'm not sitting waiting here as a soul to, to give, uh, to, 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 that you explain to me what is the meaning and the reason for my living. Yes, no, yes. my vocation, my calling 
as a soul bearer, as somebody that God has blown his, 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 his breath into my uh, whole being, is that I am going to this world and I, my calling is to bring meaning in hopeless situations. Yeah, Whilst go. I'm busy working with a person, I bring a certain atmosphere, a climate, a quality of love, a quality of servanthood. Yes, I'm not yes. sitting that somebody have to serve me. I bring meaning to a hopeless world and bring soul into that environment. There we go. With my way that I am behaving, the way that I love. Love is not coming automatically. Hope is not coming automatically in our situation. Yes, yes. And 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 the 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 soul has got this connection with hope, despite of the hopelessness. I've got this connection with the divine and with my purpose and with my meaning and with the ruach, and I can conclude with the Quram Deo uh, uh, idea that. In everything that I'm doing, in everything that I'm saying, in everything that I am thinking, it it, it is basilt, it, it it's it's soulfulness that is coming uh, from 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 a, a, a broader understanding of why I am here, and if you can get hold of that, that I'm some someone special. I'm more than my body. I'm more than my body functions. I, I, I've got this being. Uh, I must be uh, with people in a certain way. And I, I must bring a sort of atmosphere and a vagrance. That is not a stinking sort of vagrance. When fragrance. people... Uh, is it a fragrance? Fragrance. Fragrance, yeah. yes. A fragrance, a geer. Yeah. Paulus skryf daar oor. Yes. Uh, as yes. mense, as jy en mense sy teenwoordigheid is, uh, uh, stink jy. Is het lekker om by, by, by jou te wees? Of ons het die taak om een aangename geer, geer. Yes. Uh, 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 te bring uh, uh, in, uh, in die omgeving. And that's soulfulness. Yes. You bring a soul. I, I can conclude, uh, you know, in some parties people say, you know, here's a problem with this party. This party hasn't got a soul. Mm. There's a problem in the Springbok team. They haven't got a soul. And you know, you can be in a marriage uh, situation and so on. Uh, you, you, you conduct the marriage in terms of an empty shell. Yes. yes, we've got children. Yes, we're doing our work and so on. But there isn't a soul in that marriage life. Yeah. You are desolate. You're in the desert. You are hopeless because in some way or another, the soul is gone. The soul is the very essence of quality of relationships. And we've got the calling, the vocation from God himself to carry his image, to carry the ruach that he has given us and, and blow some air of soulfulness. And soulfulness, uh, uh, other word for soulfulness is uh, 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 Jesus-like, Jesus-fullness, Jesus-attitude. Christ-like. Christ-like. Yes. Jesus-enthusiasm. Uh, 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 Jesus that, that uh, in his ministry, if you look at his ministry, he's always bringing hope in hopeless situations. And that is the essence uh, of, 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 of uh, uh, humanhood, is, is, is to make meaning of meaningless situation, mm. to, to bring hope in hopelessness, uh, yes. to, to go to the destitute and wash their feet and, and be there for other people. Then we are carry a new soulfulness in a soulless world. Yes, Dr. Francois, thank you very much. 
uh, it is also we we also need to and and I just want to latch onto what you said this morning. Um, we also need to understand that the soul has an eternal destiny. It 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 has, as you said, it transcends beyond. It's 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 greater than the sum total of your entire existence. Right. So it it has that entire uh, eternal um, uh, destiny. Uh, uh, it it extends beyond the earthly existence. Jesus speaks about the soul's value in relations to the kingdom of God. Yeah. What shall it profit a man? Uh, in Mark eight verse thirty six to two thirty seven, what shall it profit a man that he gains the whole world and he loses? And that is where you come to what you ended off with: the marriage and 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 um, um, the hopelessness in the world. Um, look, people people are rich, people are um, are wealthy uh, in the world. They have a lot of money. They are they are billionaires. But at the end of the day, when they die, they die in a hopeless situations. Situation. Um, there are many that we can that we can uh, think of. They start off with soulfulness. They start off in the church. They start off in singing. It is well with my soul. Uh, but their ending is misery. Is misery. Mm. They 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 ran after all the glitz and the glamour. Of, 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 of what the world can bring. They forgot that there's a soul's dimension that has an eternal destiny, as Jesus says. What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world but loses his soul? I would rather have my soul. Uh, I, I, I nearly wanted to say, say uh, be victorious, not win, but be victorious in Christ, in the kingdom of God, then gather earthly possessions or, 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 or be so, so popular, if I can call it that, popular in, in, in the world's eyes that I forget my soul. Uh, in some instances, and I can relate um, with this, and especially in the, in the entertainment industry, uh, people sell their souls to the devil mm, mm. just to to be hyperly famous, and that is where it comes in, where Jesus relates to in Mark eight verse thirty six to thirty seven, where he says that what shall it profit a man to win the whole world. world? You have the world at your feet. People are screaming. People are throwing their clothes to you. People come there, they, when they see you, they faint, and, 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 and so on. But what shall it profit you at the end? Because you have inside of you, you have something of eternal value, but you do not value it here on earth. And, and, and that is what we need to, um, we need to understand and, and this suggests that the choices we made in this life have a profound implication to our destiny mm. and, and, and our uh, ultimate destination and eternal well-being. Mm. So we need to work on our eternal well-being here. No wonder he says that when you build, do not build with straw, do not build with sticks, do not build with brick and mortar. But build a building where moth and rust and the thief cannot come, which is the eternal destiny. And that is, that is what we need to build here on earth. Yes. Now, yes. Now, yes. Yes. We cannot wait until I sit on the stoop to have a glorious marriage. You need to build whilst you are, whilst you are young and in it. You need to work on the soulfulness of the marriage. You need to work on the soulfulness of the relationship. And that is so important in, in that perspective. And we will go on, having said that, we will go on a music break and uh, um, Hillsong will sing to us, uh, Behold, then sings my soul. Yes, can your soul sing this morning? Behold. Behold my soul, 
Behold, I am looking to that eternal destiny, but I am working on earth towards that as I journey. Let's take a listen. Behold, your songs will sing to us. Hey, Mr. Brown, feeling down? Listen to the leading internet radio station in Cape Town. Verplette plezier, luister na Radio Easter Vier. Dis ons stasie, ons het alleen, en jylle, bly lekker, onse mense. Behold the Father's heart The mystery he lavishes on us
Watch as the clouds he rides swing along. Lift up the sound as he makes our praise his throne. Come on, lift up the sound one time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Moluya ne makaya. Singur radio is river. Sifuma ne kakuzo zong social media platforms. How great our God is. Yilsong sang to us, Behold. My, then sings my soul. My soul sings how great our God is. Now, we need to somewhere connect with God. Um, uh, the relationship between uh, the human soul and God is portrayed in various ways, reflecting both intimacy and dependency. That is, that is how we, we, we need to, we need to understand and acknowledge the connection between God and our soul. Because at the end of the day, as, as the Bible says, that the soul comes from God. That's it. Yeah, and, well. and, and the soul also needs to return to God. From, from there, we, 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 we know the eternal destiny. Earlier on, Dr. Francois, you spoke about we on our way to heaven. And, 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 and that is what everyone have uh, in sight. We have, um, and sometimes we have blinkers on. Uh, all that we see is heaven. But this morning we say, take off your blinkers. Yeah. Yes. Take off your blinkers. Do not only have heaven in sight, but know Lord. what is on your periphery. We talk about your peripheral vision is what is broader than this, just what is in front of you. As I sit here, I can basically see 180 degrees to my left and to my right. My per peripheral vision is I can see what is happening next to me whilst I am focusing on you. Um, and, and that is what we need to do. Whilst we are focusing on God, we also need to focus on and know what is happening around us. Now, how is the soul and that relationship with God, how is that interconnected? Yeah, I think that this is very important because uh, uh, people tend to think of the soul as a heaven matter. Yes. Uh, I'm fixated on heaven yeah. and uh, it's a good with my soul i'm not going to hell you know i'm on my way to heaven and that it concludes my life at the end the the very thing that the bible is teaching us heaven has already started you know with jesus come and the, the intervention of trying god he bring part and parcel of heaven into our world right now yes we already in we 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 uh, in some stages uh, of the heavenly experience. Yes, it concludes uh, in in our perspective of the afterlife and so on. But the important thing of our discussion about the soul is that the soul is uh, operational in the now, uh, in our very existent now. Therefore, you must concentrate on the quality of your interconnectedness and the way that you are bringing uh, 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 meaning uh, into the world. That's our vocation. Bring soulfulness uh, in the now. And, and, and the future will look after itself. We've got all the promises of the Bible and before Jesus departed and so on, he said to us, don't worry about the heavenly things. I will take hold of it. I will be there for you. Live in the slipstream of my promises. Live in the slipstream of the soulfulness that I've given to you and teach to you and I ask you, 
to, to, to dish it out to the world uh, when you, Ever you've got the opportunity, bring soul back to the earth that is that is full of sin and and, and uh, things that uh, makes you miserable and so on. You are the bearers of the soul. Bring the soul back. Don't fixate on the future. I will look for your future. I promise I will be there. Therefore, it's a balancing act. You must not be so fixated when you talk about the, the soul issues. That is only a thing that awaits me mm. in the very far future. And I will deal with it, and my soul is good now because I know what my ending is. Yes, yes. Leave the future in, in the very capable hands of trying God. Yeah. You and me have to operationalize uh, in the certain make the soul practice in our everyday life now and uh, soul is an interconnectedness sort of subject where i get hold of the soul in my conversation with fellow souls and when i'm dealing with the world with all its hardships and so on and we start this very program with a person that says, I'm well with my soul, despite of, of what is happening around me. Yeah. And we have to grasp that. Now, uh, soulfulness in terms of, 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 of God and my relationship with God is that I am full of the Spirit of God. As the Ruach is part and parcel of my life, there's also the Kuram Deo idea uh, I can remember a few years ago, uh, Dr. Graham, our cricket players, they, they've they got a, 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 a wristband uh, 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 that they wear and they ask themselves, and that was their testimony as a, as a, as a cricket uh, uh, team during that days, what will God do uh, when I... Uh, in whatever circumstances. The very, very question, uh, a soulful question, is not what is my perspective here? What will I do? What will I do with my talents and with my success rate of, 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 of my history? But the very, very soulful question is uh, full of uh, the Spirit of God. What will Jesus' behavior pattern be in circumstances like this, mm. soulfulness is 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 Christ-like, as you put it uh, a few uh, uh, minutes ago. Is Jesus-like? Is to be full of uh, Jesus' attitude to life, and that is what we have to grasp. And then we are bringing the soul back uh, uh, into the situation uh, uh, when yes. uh, uh, we live. In the Quram Deo, mm. in, 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 in the presence of God all the time. Yes. Then uh, we bring quality in the situation. Yes, Dr. Francois, we, we need to bring God into every situation. It is where David in Psalm 20, uh, 42, verse 1, speaks about as a deer pants for water, so my soul pants for water. You, it is, it is that to fulfill or to fill the longing for belonging. We need to fill it with the with the God aspect of our soul, and that is where we connect with God within within the where God has connected with us, uh, if I can call it uh, say so. God connected with us within the creation narrative That's uh, um, where my soul now reaches out and, and also in seeking the presence of God. It is not that um, um, I am alone. I am, I am desolate. Um, uh, David in Psalm 63 uh, uh, writes it very clearly and, and, and he puts it very nicely. He says, Oh God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. But now he comes, he, he, 
It brings the focus on God first and foremost. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. He puts the focus on God first. And then he says what's hap- what, what is happening with the flesh. He says, my flesh faints for you. Who can stand in the presence of an almighty God? No one. Not in even Dagon. Not even uh, the priest could stand. As in a dry and weary land where there is no water. Which means my soul, my flesh faints in the desert. But my soul cries out to God. And, and, and that is actually what we need to understand as as believers and as Christians that there needs to be a constant longing for God, a constant filling. You never should get to a place where you are lonely um, um, because you, you're never alone. If your soul is lonely, your soul, your soul is actually godless. But that, that's the thing. You, your soul rests in the hands of God. That, that is the important thing. You, you know that you are resting uh, in the arms of God and you've got this, this peace uh, in, in, in your inner structure. It, 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 it is some uh, uh, strength that you gather, not from the outside, but from the inside yes. that the, the spirit is pouring uh, in your life. Yes. And you you only a gutter sort of that that bring pouring this love of God, this uh, presence and peace of yes. God. You pouring it like a gutter into the world and yes. spraying it out yes. uh, 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 for people. Th- therefore, when we talk about the soul, it's it's not a entity that is somewhere in the air it, it it's an embodiment of a christ-like sort of attitude and life so that people when they look at you they they, they saw in your eyes a glitter that is so intriguing for them uh, that they also wanted They're themselves, definitely, definitely, and then yes. when when persons talk to you and say, "Where does this come from?" Mm. You are the first one to say, "It's it's not me. It, it it's God that is shining through me. Yes. A soul is in essence a reflector like the moon. You know, I don't know uh, uh, about two three weeks with the Passover and so on." Uh, um, We've got a beautiful big moon, and uh, I'm standing here in the Boerland and uh, in Cape Town, and I saw a table mountain and this beautiful moon. Yes. And I say to my wife, you know, look at the moon, how is it shining? Mm. But that's not true. It's not the moon shining. It, uh, because we know that the moon is a reflector of the sun. Yes. It's the sun. Uh, and we also have got the, what was this thing, uh, you know, eclipse. the eclipse and, and so on. When the moon uh, and the earth is, is, is between, yeah, and uh, and it was dark. But in essence, the moon is a reflector, a soul. We are talking about the soul. You and me are reflectors of 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 God. In our life, the ruach we've spoken about, yes. uh, we, of of His presence, and therefore the soulfulness we we uh, demonstrated in the world because we behave in a, a other way as that the world is behaving. Definitely. We are thinking not in the same vein as the world. Yeah. We yeah. are our attitude, our hope, our strength. Is, is, is not worldly, but is entrenched of this Holy Spirit. And we are only reflecting the presence of the Spirit in our lives. Yes. And that's soulfulness. Yes. In yes. our relationship, wherever we go. I, I want to latch onto that narrative of, of, of the eclipse where, where the, the, the earth moves in between the sun and the moon. And then there is... Uh, an eclipse, a moon eclipse. The other one is when when the the moon moves in front of the sun. Sun. 
Yeah, when it. we have a moon eclipse, um, um, there's darkness. I want to I want to latch on to that, and and everyone is almost um, in awe of this phenomena Phenomenal. that happens. But there is a there is a I would call it a a waiting an anticipation of the movement away from and the 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 glory I would always or almost say when the glory rays of of the sun is then reflecting and the moon is restored to that reflective glory and that is what god is 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 doing when david writes in 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 psalm 23 verse 3 he says he restoreth my soul he restoreth my soul now now if we look at the narrative of the eclipse the moon when the when the earth moves away out of the way of the sun and he comes and the sun rays is then seen again that he can reflect to the earth the moon actually cries out like david in psalm 23 verse 3 he restoreth my soul and that is what where we as 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 human beings need that we need to actually get to that point where we shout out like david and say he restoreth my soul because my soul is no longer in darkness my soul is no longer in a desolate place. My soul is no longer in a place of 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 weary. That is why the 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 author of It Is Well with My My Soul, my soul wrote in the very first line. He actually confronted us with when peace and where we where you said we are gutters, bringing the the soulfulness of God that God has placed inside of us, the soulfulness, the peace that surpasses all understanding, bringing that into the world as a gutter. We, we say, when peace like a river attendeth my way. That's it. When troubles like sea lo- uh, billows roll, whatever my lot, he has taught me to say, it is well with With my soul. soul. So when peace like a river, that which transcends my whole embodiment as a human being is inside of me, that God presence, when that God presence is within me, I influence the world. I impact the world. My presence and coming back to the fragrance, my presence brings an aura. The minute I walk in a room, yeah, everyone a, notices he's here. That's a soul. Yeah. Uh, in action. Uh, I think uh, we can conclude this section in terms of uh, our connection with God. It's a, it's an art to live well. Yes. Uh, despite of your circumstances. Uh, you know, to sit in a doctor's room and receive the message that you've got cancer, uh, your child has died, you can't become pregnant, you know, you, your loved one has died in an accident, and so on. For for the moment, it's this. It feels if darkness is overwhelmed you in that very moment. Yes, but then you get hold of the soul the soul that has got this testimony of wellness despite of yeah and and to get hold of that that's an art and the art lies in the fact to listen carefully yes. to listen carefully to a program program like this uh, yeah. this morning to 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 look carefully at your own life to look uh, carefully uh, to the surroundings and 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 your relations that you are involved in, and that you constantly ask yourself in terms of what is the quality 
uh, that I'm bringing here. Am I a good reflector? Yes. Of of the ruach of God. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the now. Yes. And I'm not so fascinated about the future and where I'm going because I know Jesus already prepared that for me. Yes. My duty and my vocation is to make that big difference because I know now my soul is well and it is in the hands of God. And that brings some new uh, 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 gentleness in situation, yes. new wisdom. We can conclude with wisdom and discernment. To know, you know, in, in, in marriage and family, um, pastoral care and, uh, and so on, and we will conclude the program with care, uh, many a time I sit with couples and the husband is saying, you know, she's doing that and so on, and, and the wife is talking about that. Or we have a discussion about how to deal with the children. Uh, and then I'm sitting there as a therapist, and I, I mention to, to the parents or to the couple, you know, all the things and all the arguments that you've got, is so true, is so scripture-like, is so on the spot. Mm. But the problem you've got is your timing is not right. Yes. And that's the distinction between knowing and uh, 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 thoughts and you think you are very clever and wisdom. Yes. The soul has got a discernment to know what to say, in what circumstances, and the timing. You've got a feeling for timing. It's not now the time to, 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 to do something here. I just have to wait a little yes, bit. Yes, yes. And, and, and then you bring, in terms of you manage your time well, mm. because in a conflict situation, you, in, in the situation, you want to react yeah. Immediately yes, in yes. the situation, what soulfulness do is wait. Yes, yes. wait, calm down, mm. be gentle, talk in a lower voice. Let I be a reflector. Yes, let I recognize the feelings here, and let this work in a direction. Can we have another? conversation yes. about the subject i can feel that you are not in a lack of space now yes and then the wisdom is coming and then the soulfulness is pouring mm -hmm. and the christ-like behavior patterns and the patience is pouring in and 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 you start washing the feet and you recognize the person's misery and so on but you reflect on it on a latter stage yes yes not in the moment you are just there for the person. Yes. Later on, the, the soul can take the action. Soulfulness life, soulfulness life is a wonderful life, but it's art. Dr. Francois, thank you very much. You went in a little bit into the, into the next aspect of our daily living and our soul's dimension. Let's just hold on to that. Uh, thank you for that wisdom thought. We will we will elaborate more on that wisdom thought uh, and, and how to use wisdom and, and, and so on in our daily living because at the end of the day, we need to live. Our That's souls it. need to live. We need to live out our soul's dimension also here on earth. But we will go on a music break and we will hear from Kari Jobe a uh, lover of my soul. And uh, we just spoke about that God has a place. God is interested in your soul dimension and it needs to, your soul needs to connect with God as you connect with your wife, with your husband, with your lover, with your uh, uh, fiancé or your, your significant other, your partner, um, and, and calling them, uh, uh, you the love of my life and so is God the lover of your soul let's take a listen do you 
you want to take your business to the next level, advertise with Radio East River by emailing us at admin at radioeastriver.co.za.
Welcome to the leading internet radio station in the mother city. There are many ways to stream our shows. Visit us on our Facebook page, live at Radio East River. Also, visit us on our website, www.radioeastriver.co.za or download the Radio East River app, available and supported on any and all smart devices. Radio East River, die ding rug hier. Yes, and we are back on the couch with a doc, and we um, just heard that beautiful song, Lover of My Soul, and we need to acknowledge that God is the lover of our soul. Dr. Francois, you ended off with such an important um, um, aspect of our soul's dimension, and you touched on our daily living and uh, you brought and you spoke about um, wisdom. Now, if we if we can start the segment with Proverbs 2, verse 10 to 11, which, which says, For wisdom will enter your heart, and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. Listen to what he says further. Discretion will protect you, and understanding will guard you. Now, this uh, suggests that the soul, as the seat of discernment and understanding, relies on divine wisdom to navigate life's challenges and to make important and decisions in life. And you, you now spoke about wisdom. Now, in, in, in our daily living, how do we live out that divine wisdom and knowledge and understanding that we, we, we receive from God? Because the Bible also says that uh, the fear of the, the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And we now spoke on God being the lover of our soul, and, and God is interested, we need to connect with God as, 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 as the lover of our soul. Now, how do we live that in our daily lives? Um, it seems um, an African sal ons door die volgende gesegde sê, dat dit that, that like as of an, 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 an hierdie aspect van ons dagelijkse leefweise, een onzielsde mens die pap op die grond val. Ja, absoluut. En um, as ek by die Afrikaans kan aansluit, ons moet, die, die key, die sleetel is, om bewustelik te lewe. O, aware uh, living. Awareness living. Uh, oh, you know, you must be aware of your soul. And where do you connect with your soul? There's two places. The first thing, every hour, you have to concentrate only for for a minute or two on your breathing on your breathing as you sit there on the couch and dr uh, uh, graham you know breathing exercises is so important which is the the the, the biggest part of our body uh, that that that's our skin the second part of our body is our lungs you know uh, the lungs is all over the place here in front, uh, in your chest and so on. And you have to utilize it. And as you sit there on the couch, and I'm looking to you as well, uh, Dr. Graham, yes. and also our sound person here. You are not breathing properly. Mm. You know, we tend to only breathe in the upper part of our lungs. We have to utilize the full capacity of our lungs. And when we talk about soulness, uh, and we talk about the ruach, the, uh, the, the breath of God that is in us in terms of his spirit, uh, we are a living creature yes. and we are living now, we must connect on a regular basis and specifically in an hourly basis, only for two minutes, concentrating on our bring. Breathing. And there's various ways to do that. To close your eyes uh, for, the, for the moment and concentrate on your feet and then your ankles 
and then your legs and your hips, and then you start coming to your chest and your neck and also the muscles in your face mm. and think of your hair and go back then to your breathing. And then start, uh, we work with a sequence of uh, three counts in, hold a little bit, and then you exhale for eight uh, counts. And you do it again, and you do it five times. And when you connect with your breathing, you're in the slipstream of connecting with your soul your very essence of your existence. You connect with life. Yes. And we're talking about the whole notion of the life that is an art. Mm. The second thing uh, I think which is very important to, to be aware of your soul and in terms of discernment yes. and in terms of wisdom and so on, I think we have to take a leaf out of Psalm 1. So, like Psalm a tree, the, Psalm, the psalmist there is saying, I, I don't know if it's David and so on, David, yes. but, but the soul is like a tree that is standing alongside the stream of water. Yes. And then he makes this connection uh, with, with the word of God. You must overthink uh, uh, and think about and take in mind the principles of scripture yes. in your life. Because that is how you feed the soul uh, with the right substance yes. to lead the soul in the right direction in terms of discernment and wisdom. Yes. And I think that is the, the, the thing. Practical is go back hourly uh, uh, to your breathing and connect again with your soul and, and, and understand that I uh, am a reflector of God's life through my life. Yes. And in the second uh, uh, um, instance, I can be like a tree and, uh, and root it in the word of God and his principles uh, and through his Holy Spirit, he start helping me to, 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 to live with soulfulness, Christ-like, and uh, have a, a behavioral pattern that people seek and look up to and they, they can understand, but this is quality. This is what is life all yes. about. Yes, Dr. Franchot, thank you very much. That is exactly what the Bible says, that man shall not live from bread alone, but from every word yeah. that comes from the mouth of God, uh, Matthew twenty, uh, Matthew four verse four, where where the writer Matthew is actually quoting Deuteronomy eight verse three. So man shall not live by bread alone. It means that we cannot starve our soul's dimension by not connecting to God. In our daily living, we need to connect with him through his word and bringing sustenance and nourishment to our souls. And, and that is uh, very important. Um, I just maybe want to mention here uh, also our, our, our integrity and our character on a daily, daily living and also our purpose and our calling on a daily living. God has called us. God has placed us on the earth for a certain purpose. Um, people quote the following scripture uh, very, very, very easily. Um, I am here, I'm standing here, and I was born for a time such as this. Yes. But if, we, if, if you look at the living of the person in a time such as this, the, the soul's dimension does not connect uh. with the environment. Uh, and and where they are. The, yeah, you have to walk your talk. Eh? You must walk your talk. Yeah. And you can only do that if you are anchored. And um, Psalm 1 uh, speaks about the tree planted by river. And earlier in our conversation, you, you alluded to, to, to the fact that people um, speak about the soul of a tree and how you can hear 
the 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 equilibrium and the vibration, uh, the the seismic vibration of how the roots is growing. And I and 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 I think someone said uh, I I I I had to listen to this somewhere that a tree does not only grow upwards; it's it awesome. grow downwards. Yes. Wonderful. Downwards. Wonderful. Before a tree can grow up, the roots grows down, and simultaneously, what is above the earth, what we can see, is also under the earth. If you want to go high, your right. roots needs That's to be deep. deep. So, as much as you want to be that person, if your roots is shallow. Then the because they, they they say that it is the 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 guys in the higher oscillations of life that get the most wind, and if you get the wind, no no wonder many people fall over because the root is mm. superficial, but you need to be rooted in God, and you can only do that on a daily basis when your soul is anchored. In the Word of God, and with that said, I actually want to say, let's take a break and restore our soul, as vertical worship will sing to to us: "Restore my soul, oh. restore your soul back to its godly glory." As the moon had an eclipse, so your soul needs to have. The glory of God coming back to it and restore and listen to the song before we conclude our our, our program with soul care. Take a listen. Radio Yesterafir, onse stasi, onse talent, onse mensa. What's up, ons by no six four five three six nine zero nine zero five. Talk to us, the dung rack here. Revive my heart, renew my life in every part. Reveal to me what's in remain.
tune in to the leading internet radio station in the mother city, Radio Easter River. For more information, log on to our website, which is www.radioeasterriver.co.za. Yes, restore my soul. Um, vertical worship saying to us, our souls needs to be restored and uh, it needs to be restored to the former glory um, of, of what God intended for it to be as God has given it. And so this morning we are here and Dr. Francois, we will speak on soul care. Soul care, um, as, as, as it is defined, is the practices and attitude aimed at nurturing the spiritual well-being of oneself but also of of others now give us some some nuggets how do i care for my soul yeah if if, th- if if i should yeah. speak to you now and ask you um friend tell me how do i care for my soul mm. Speak to the listener. Uh, I think, uh, uh, Doc Graham, uh, as a mate and so on, I think uh, when you are aware of your own soulfulness and you perceive all people around you as fellow souls and so on, there is a priority shift yes. in your life. And that is the important thing. As you sit there on the couch... As you and me has prepared for the subject, we already met before this program. We've got a thorough discussion as friends about the soul. How do we perceive it? How do we understand it? We read about it. Uh, we also want to honor uh, Professor Daniel Lowe's yes, insight. Yes, uh, we utilize his insight uh, in terms of, 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 of the soulfulness and I think God has given him a, a, a big talent to, to un- raffle this whole and unpack this whole subject yes. that we understand it better. And therefore, if we talk about soul care, I think the important thing is th- this conversation today was a launching pad, pad in a sense for our listeners. Keep on reading about the soul. Google about the soul. Uh, uh, have conversations about the soul. Uh, um, broaden your knowledge base about the soul. Mm. Uh, uh, it's it, it's important that when you do scripture, and you can do it with this wonderful devices that we've got. Yes. Just put the word soul into your Bible uh, 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 app or something, and look at all the various verses that yes. uh, Doc uh, Graham has quoted. A few of them. Uh, today uh, there's a lot of uh, things to say about the soul yes. from a scripture p- perspective and it's got a, a lot of sides that you have to attend to and take note of i i think that is very important i think uh, look at yourself as someone special as someone with a soul as someone with a purpose Someone that is a meaning giver in situation, and that yes. constitute uh, a certain understanding of the soul, that you are part and parcel of a network of people and fellow souls, that you look at your wife not as a sexual object or a woman or a husband in the first place as a sexual ob- object or something, but as a as a soul object as a fellow soul, and that brings uh, immediately respect and and loving care and responsibility into the equation. Yes. Uh, yes. In, in our networks with nature, with, with the transcendent God, with, with everything that we touch, the way that we are working with our children, that we fill our cup, with soulfulness uh, of understanding and uh, uh, to care about it is g- to give time for that yes. you you must have your times where you just can sit and uh, and think about your life 
Therefore, I think to ponder uh, on a regular basis also about the subject, that is good soul care. Thank you very much, Dr. Francois. We will conclude and we will know that um, um, we can acknowledge that soul care is just more than uh, just talking. It's about uh, meditating on scripture, having fellowship, having rest in Christ, uh, having confession, uh, being thankful and, and having gratitude for life. That is uh, all the ways that we can uh, do soul care. And as you, as you rightfully said, all of those things needs time. You, to rest, you need time. To have fellowship, it needs time. To meditate on scripture, it's time. To be uh, thankful and have gratitude, it all have time. Thank you, Michael Domingo, for your comment. Thank you. Um, uh, what an interesting topic. Thank you, for, th- thank you very much for explaining uh, um, and examples about the soul. It is very important. And also Josh Jr. can hear that is also tuned in. We thank you. And we want to say thank you to all our listeners and, and viewers, listeners on the radio app and viewers on TikTok and on Facebook. We are so grateful that you uh, are here with us. And we will play out. And I will ask you that your soul become awake as Hill Songs will sing it to us uh, uh, this morning. Um, uh, yes, I just want to say next week we will have an interesting uh, program. We will have uh, international artists in our, in our midst uh, of our young people that is going overseas to, to um, do entertainment uh, uh, overseas in Spain. We will have them in the, in, in the studio next week and uh, also the CEO of the company that they represent. We will have him also in, in the studio, an international acclaimed artist. Uh, and uh, don't miss the program. Don't miss it. And we will play out with this, and we will say, God bless until next time. You are, were on the couch with Doc as we listen to Awake My Soul. You are tuned into the leading internet radio station in the Mother City. There is a sound I love to hear It's the sound of the Savior's rope As he walks into the room Where people pray Will he hear praises he hears faith You are listening to Radio Yesterova 